Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. Let's take a moment to see how easy it is to make adjustments using the contextual taskbar and the hue and saturation adjustment layer. First, when you have a pixel-based layer or a smart object layer targeted in the Layers panel, in the contextual taskbar, you'll see a new option to adjust colors. You may not see the Adjust Colors option if you have a different type of layer selected, have an active selection, or have a mask selected because the taskbar displays different options for different tools. If the contextual taskbar isn't showing, right-click in the area outside of the canvas and choose Show Contextual Taskbar. When I choose Adjust Colors, Photoshop displays seven color swatches. Clicking on the first color swatch displays a drop-down where we can make adjustments to the hue, the saturation, and the lightness of all of the colors in the image. All right, let's reset that. The other six swatches represent the six most prominent colors in the image. Selecting one of these swatches and making adjustments will only adjust the colors in the image that are within that color range. I'll select the yellow swatch and drag the hue towards green and increase the saturation. Once we've made an adjustment to a color range, the swatch is divided and displays the original color and the adjusted color, and a small dot appears below the swatch to indicate that an adjustment has been made to that color range. On the Layers panel, Photoshop has added a non-destructive adjustment layer. I'll double-click on the thumbnail for the adjustment to display the Properties panel, or you can choose Window and select Properties. In the Properties panel, we see the same seven color swatches and any adjustments that have been made to them. These color swatches have replaced the drop-down color range menu that was in previous versions of Photoshop, making it easier to quickly identify and select different ranges of color. To override the color of a swatch, target one of the color swatches that you aren't going to want to adjust and select the eyedropper tool from either the contextual taskbar or the properties panel. Then click in the image area to select a color. A magnifier loop appears when you click to help preview the color you're selecting. Here I only want to adjust the color of the crayon that I clicked on, but when I adjust the hue, we can see that the crayon to the right is also being adjusted. In order to refine the color range, I'll use the before and after color bars, which are now larger and easier to work with. The color on the top bar is the before color, and the bottom color bar displays the adjusted color. The light gray area between the two vertical bars is the range of colors that are adjusted by the changes. We can click and drag in the light gray area to reposition the color range. We can even drag it so that it wraps all the way around the color wheel. The area between the vertical bar and the triangle is the fade range, where colors become less and less affected by the adjustment. I'll drag between the vertical line and the triangle to decrease the color range. Then I'll drag the triangle to decrease the fade range. Now, adjusting the hue will only adjust the crayon that I want to change. If we wanted to include more colors in our adjustment, we could widen the color range as well as the fade range, and now as I adjust the hue, we can see a wider color range being adjusted. All right, let's select the pink color swatch and take the saturation down to negative 100. Another way to change the range of colors that are adjusted is to select the eyedropper with the plus and click on the color in the image area. And we can select the eyedropper with the minus to remove colors from the color range. If you prefer to work with red, green, and blue, cyan, magenta, and yellow as the default color ranges, like they were in previous versions of Photoshop, instead of the prominent colors, we can use the preset menu to choose default but be aware that this will reset any changes that you've already made to the image. All right, let's delete this adjustment layer. While the default is to display the prominent colors when starting with a contextual taskbar, when selecting Layer, Adjustment Layer, Hue and Saturation, or when using the Adjustment Layer icon in the Layers panel to add a Hue and Saturation Adjustment Layer, the default color ranges are displayed instead of the prominent colors. 
This difference is deliberate as the Photoshop team didn't want to interrupt established workflows. If you add an adjustment layer this way, but want to use the prominent colors, just select them from the preset menu. All right, five things to mention before we wrap up. First, when using the reset button on the properties panel, Photoshop will reset the color swatches to prominent colors if you started from the contextual taskbar. If you added the adjustment layer from the menu item or from the icon on the layers panel, then Photoshop will reset the color ranges to the default red, green, and blue, cyan, magenta, and yellow. Second, regardless of what color swatch is selected, using the targeted adjustment tool will select the color in the image that you click on and adjust that range. Dragging to the left will decrease the saturation and dragging to the right will increase it. Holding down the command key on Mac or the control key on Windows and dragging will shift the hue of that color range. Third, with the adjustment layer icon active, you can reset the colors anytime using the try dot menu on the contextual taskbar by choosing refresh prominent colors. Or you can select the same menu item from the properties panels flyout menu. Fourth, if your image has a limited number of colors, some of the color ranges of the prominent colors may overlap. And fifth, if you enable colorize, then Photoshop will only display a single color swatch. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.